The Town Mouse and the Country Mouse A town mouse once visited her relative who lived in the country. For lunch, the Country Mouse served wheat stalks, roots, and acorns, all with a dash of cold water for drink. The Town Mouse ate sparingly, nibbling a little this and a little that, and by her manner making it very plain that she only ate the simple food to be polite. After the meal, the friends had a long talk, or rather, the town mouse talked about her life in the city while the country mouse listened. They then went to bed in a cozy nest in the hedgerow and slept in quietly and comfortably until the morning. In her sleep, the country mouse dreamed that she was a town mouse with all the luxuries and delights of the city that her friend had described for her. So the next day when the town mouse asked the country mouse to go home with her to the city, she gladly said yes. When they had reached the mansion in which the town mouse lived in, they had found on the table in the dining room the leavings of a very fine banquet. There were sweet meats, and jellies, pastries, delicious cheese, indeed, the most tempting of foods that a mouse could imagine. But just as the country mouse was about to nibble on a dainty piece of pastry, she heard a cat meow, loudly, and scratching at the door. In great fear, the mouse scurried to a hiding place, where they lay quite still for a long time, hardly daring to breathe. Then at last they ventured back to the feast. The door opened suddenly, and in came the servants to clear the table, followed by the house dog. The country mouse stopped into the town mouse's den only long enough to pick up her belongings. You may have the luxuries and the dainties that I do not have, she said as she hurried away, but I prefer my plain food, simple life in the country, with the peace and security that goes with it. Which mouse would you like to be? The country mouse or the town mouse?